Hey, what's going on, phone dogs? Bo HD here, and Google announced a lot of exciting things at their Google I.O. conference, one of them being the third developer preview of Android N, which is, of course, the next version of Android, which is slated for an official release this fall. In this video, we're going to overview all of the major new features found in the third developer preview, links below to view some of the other features found in the previous build. So one of the first things you will notice when you power on your Nexus device running the Developer Preview 3, I am running it on my Nexus 6P, it's the new wallpapers. So you'll see several new wallpapers, all of which consist of some inky, vivid shots of nature. They're very crisp, and a couple of them really do take advantage of uh, AMOLED displays. The notification panel and all that it consists of has received some new improvements. First, you'll see that if we look at our quick settings, there are a couple new quick settings icons for the calculator and night mode. So we covered the calculator quick setting in the last dev preview, but the night mode is uh, most certainly new, and it allows you to easily activate night mode to save some sleep and uh, view content on your mobile device at night without damaging your REM. Long press a notification, you'll see options to silence notifications, block all notifications, or do not silence or block notifications. You can click more settings to further specify how you want each app to deal uh, with notifications. If you have a message in your notification tray, you can reply to said message directly from the notification tray itself. And what's cool is that you'll actually see a really neat uh, material design animation to reveal the text box. Uh, it's super clean. I love this feature, but I really do love the design animation even more. In the system UI tuner, which is still present in this dev preview, uh, there's a section for power notification controls. With power notification controls, you can set an important level from zero to five for an app's notifications. You'll see that each level has details as to how important each notification is under each level. We'll see if this feature is implemented into the final build, but for those who really want a lot of control over the notifications, I think uh, you'll really love this feature. And while in the settings, you can go to display and display size and use the slider to make items on your screen smaller or larger. You have small, default, large, larger, and largest sizes. There's been a host of new improvements made to the Google keyboard. We of course have to talk about the new emojis. There's a clown, a cowboy, a green sick emoji, and there are also new skin colors which you can choose from by uh, long pressing on an emoji. There's also a one-handed mode built into the keyboard which can be selected from uh, long pressing the enter button. And if you go into settings, languages and input, virtual keyboard, and tap on the Google keyboard, you'll see a section for themes. You can choose from a variety of themes to obviously change the look and feel of your keyboard. There are some basic color options and you can even upload your own images as well. So it's just one more area where Google is letting you customize to your liking. You gotta love that about Android. Now we talked about this in the last dev preview, but Google did mention it at Google I.O. So I did want to bring it up again. If you open up one app and then you open up another, you can double press the multitasking button to switch between apps super quickly. It's extremely fluid extremely fast as you can see here. If you're on a call with somebody, for example, you can easily switch back and forth to content you need to relay to someone, such as directions in Google Maps or a phone call in Messenger or Hangouts. It's a very welcomed feature. But those are some of the main new features found in the third dev preview of Android N. Some other features worth mentioning that we can't easily show you in video is no more Android updating screen when you upgrade Android. And with that comes Seamless Upgrades, a feature that allows your device to download and install Android updates in the background. There are instant apps, so if you view a web version of a site with an accompanying app, you'll be taken to the app version of the site, even if you don't have the app installed on your phone. We'll definitely check out this feature in detail soon. Last but not least is, of course, Android VR. We'll cover all these features and more in detail when the final build of Android N is released in the fall. If you guys enjoyed this video, smash that thumbs up button, subscribe if you're brand new. As always, I'm BoHD from PhoneDog.com. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you right back here in the next one. See ya.